Hey, any fish? It's the 31st of May, 2018. And uh, I'm back on the George H.W. Bush thing again. And this is really weird what has come across my plate here, but I just want to put it out to you real quick, okay? We know he's in the hospital in Maine. He's in good spirits. And he's 93. And he's basically on the verge of death. I mean, he's that close. But nonetheless, George Bush, I've, I've talked about him before. Uh, this man uh, played a, an absolute key role in the last 70 years or so. Um, bringing in the new paradigm after World War II. Working with the uh, satanic Nazis and NASA and setting up the CIA, which he ended up heading before he was president, so on and so forth. But anyway, I found it weird. He was born on January or June, sorry, June twelfth. Okay, and that's when Trump's summit is supposed to be, and Trump's birthday is on the fourteenth. Okay, no big deal, right? Whenever I think of George Bush, I always think of 9-11 because 9-11 was one of those paradigm-changing events in the world. I mean, it literally changed the world, okay? It, just like World War II did, and so on and so forth. And what that all is is nothing less than Satan's rebellion, you know, showing itself into the natural world through the spirit with men. It just, the men are driven by that spirit and they just follow orders and build the monuments and kill the people and make the poisons and they just do it because their master promises them everything, okay? And George Bush is about to find out, not only is he getting his eternal life in, uh, you know, whatever land, he's facing judgment very soon. So, you know, there you have it. But the fact that his birthday is on the 12th is what struck me. So I went and looked. And let's not forget his son invoking uh, Psalm 23 of all verses, right? On 9-11. Phony as a $3 bill. Okay? Don't forget Obama did the same thing with Psalm 46 on 9-11-2011. Right? Well, I just happened to take from 2001 this day this was the big one right here from that day to the 12th when george h w turns 94 which is a 13 okay this is the rebellion people and i'm getting the feeling that there is an event <laughs> that is uh very much in the in the making here very very close that's all i can really say because when you look at this number Okay, you have to understand, you have 69, and you have the 11 in there, okay? 69, you know, that's Lucifer's finished work, the great work, destroying God's creation, essentially, eliminating the humanity out of humanity, you understand what I mean? The godless world, that's his goal, it, he will be the God, you understand me, of this fake phony vain world that he's creating but this number is just so powerful i can't even really tell you 69 like i said the 11 there are multiple uh definitions for a lot of these things you know the 11 most people go to the to the common sources it's a it's important it symbolizes disorder chaos and judgment okay now let's look here in genesis 11 the men rebelled against god and built the Tower of Babel. And he judged them. You understand where I'm coming from now? The 11. Okay. The rebellion. It's all right here in front of us. And this, is, this isn't this is even the main reason why I'm making this video. Like, wait you see what came up in the news shortly thereafter. Just a little while ago I saw this. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Here it is. This is from today. Just a few hours ago. Trump's election made Obama wonder if America was ready to move forward from its past. We could talk about the title alone. And this is the Washington Post, okay? And this, this is a demon Facebook is what that is. And look at the image, why don't you? 
I mean, you gotta, you, you absolutely have to be kidding me. They put him in there like that in front of the portrait. The duel, the, it's all there. But what really blew me away was I just, I'm thinking of George Bush's birthday, so I think of Barack Obama's birthday. And it supposedly is August 4th, 1961. Okay, 1961. Look at this number here. Now look at 1961. You see where I'm coming from? And why is he all of a sudden in the news in this fashion? And there's so much, you guys, we could go over. I mean... It's insanity. It's 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 absolutely crazy the connections that I could show you to this, but I gotta piecemeal it. It's it's that crazy, that heavy. You know? Oh, it's Pride Month. I, I remember that. It's Pride Month, someone told me. They're in the LGBT. And this came up. A commenter left this. Thank you very much. I forget who you were though. Um on the third, just three days away, in Times Square celebrating 70 years of friendship the usa israel block party in times square i'll leave a link this is interesting look at look at the numbers when i came to this to this page 196 111 this is crazy you guys that's all it's doing is telling me that you know as as i always say you know this rebellion is coming into the natural world and it's going to turn the world into you think it's chaotic now? Man, you have not seen nothing. And there's only one way to get through it. And that is Jesus Christ. Period. Please, seek him. If you want the truth, humble yourself. Seek it. Diligently. Okay? And that'll do it for this one. I would like to keep keep going, you guys, because it does. It goes on and on. <laughs> it's it's insane. But anyway, I'll let you go for now. Got to go feed my chickens. Peace and grace to you guys. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 